What's up guys? So on this one, we are going to build an airbrush spray booth so that I can airbrush lures. Everything that I've ever done for airbrush has always been like rinky dink and like made it work. This time we're going legit. We are going to make the booth. Uh, I apologize about the lighting, probably about the audio and about my shop because it kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So we are going to basically, I have a picture of it. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Something along the lines of this. I have a bunch of MDF and then I've got the big air filters and then I've got a big vent hood. Uh, and then we'll just use a black hose, hose it outside, making the brackets of the window. And then I might build this, I might build a stand for it. I'm not hundred percent sure yet, but Right now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the camera roll and I'm gonna try to build this. I'll probably just speed it up, so we'll make it easy. I think I'm gonna build the bottom. I'm gonna build the bottom and the walls out of three quarter, and then I'll probably do like the back and the top in half inch. Why am I always missing a pencil? Always. We're off to a great start. Great start. The old memory card ran out of juice. All right, so these are my side panels. Now we're gonna work on figuring out the bottom and the back panels. Finally got all the pieces cut. Should be good now. Now I'm gonna cut the hole out for this thing. Get it laid out, drill the hole. Just gonna cut it with the jigsaw. I like really quickly built a little stand for this. All right, quick little spray booth bench type deal. Should be able to put my air compressor underneath here. And I might end up adding some drawers later on if I wanted to, but this should do it. I'm just gonna put a top down here and then we should be good. All right, that's it. We got a base. I know it probably looked like I just slapped this thing together and I definitely did, but like this is probably way more overkill. It's probably way more overkill than 99% of them out there. So I just wanted to have some kind of a rolling cart. I mean, I might be able to fit my uh, air compressor on there, but should be able to do maybe some drawers at one point or even a drawer down below but just being able to roll it, you know, would be nice. So, pretty big. Girlfriend's gonna love it. Battery 
died. But this is it. Super happy with how it came out. This is final spray booth. Ready to rock and roll. Just gonna throw a coat of shellac on it quick and call her a day. Two coats, shellac. Looks pretty good. Finally stopped soaking it in. It's packing peanuts. vacuum for the vacuum chamber. It's so little, but it will definitely fit in there. All right, so it's day two, maybe day three. It's like day two. Uh, I painted it white. It's all painted white. I mean, I should have a little bit of footage of that. I just figured you guys didn't want to watch me paint stuff. So it's all painted white, put a little trim around it, made it look really clean. But this is drying right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up, I got a new fan. This is the inline fan. So I got this inline fan, I tested it earlier. So I got this fan right here. This is the Cloudline AC Infinity. I'll link to it. This fan is freaking sweet. Uh, it should pump air. So I'm gonna hook that up now. Uh, I made a port to go outside right there. And then I basically have this vent to go in the back here. So we'll put this and hook this thing up into the back and it'll be all set. So it's a little bit of a mess in here, but we're gonna we get this thing wrapped up today. That's for sure. I'm gonna finish this thing up so we can start spraying some lures. I don't even think you can notice it. I honestly don't. I honestly think that she's just gonna get upset for no reason. Yeah, that's what I think. I actually think it adds to the room. I think it adds to the room. You know, like it's a conversation piece. Like people are like, ooh, what does that giant black pipe go to? Like that conversation would never be had before this and now we get to have that conversation so like i feel like i'm honestly helping if i get one more piece of ikea furniture that i have to put together i'm gonna lose my mind so like i feel like 
you know, it's about time we have something cool in the house. <sighs> yeah. I do not think you can get a more professional install, even if I paid someone. I mean, this is almost perfect. You know, I mean, look at how clean this looks. Very clean. Very clean. I should have gone with white piping. Like I, I realize that now, but black just looked cool in an Amazon cart. So I was like, yeah, huge mistake now. I opted to live. Instead of doing that big system, I just straight lined it. And it's on right now. So I mean, it doesn't really feel like it's sucking that much, but I don't know. I hope it's gonna work at 200 CFM. You know, I mean, it definitely has suction at the filter. I also threw these in, just little brackets that just flip up and down to hold the filter in. And then I wired it all right to this button right here. And it shuts on and off. But I just think this is gonna let me live so that my girlfriend doesn't kill me versus running that big hose all the way through and over. I just think this is way more streamlined and I can still move it if I wanted to. Still move it right out anywhere I wanted to move it. I can do that, but I've got a couple accessories and things that are gonna go on now. So we'll get those set. All right, so this is the compressor I went with. It is a California Air. I have no idea how big it is. Just find the one that looks like this. I'll link it in, I'll link it down below, but this is the one that I went with. Uh, it's so quiet. I mean, like, so quiet. So we're just gonna install this bad Larry right here. That's as loud as it is. So like, I can definitely deal with that. Compared to my other one, this like doesn't even sound like it's on. So very, uh, very convenient. And then, is I'm going to run the compressor, a lot of people will do the, this is the water separator. A lot of people will do this right off the compressor, but I watched a couple videos and saw some stuff about how it's really, the water condenses and you get water through the airbrush when it cools, when the air cools down. So I'm gonna run it through this hose first so that it cools all the air down and then I'll hit the water separator and then I'm gonna go to my airbrush line. So this will go in like this. And then this is gonna go to this bad boy, which would then go to my airbrush, airbrush line. I just don't have an airbrush hooked up right now. All right, so then the last thing I got is I got some LEDs. So we're gonna light this bad boy up. Is there a I always thought it was Groove, but it's G-O-V-E-E. -E. Goovy? Goovy lights. Govy. Govy lights. Beautiful, we're done with that now. Got my airbrush holder. That's, it probably only needed one. It probably just needs one screw. Yeah, that's all it needs. I'm gonna put a second one in, but that's all it needs. Okay. 
That one is doing nothing. Those are just there to be friends. Okay, sweet. I feel like I should test this. She's blowing. Let's crank her up. Let's crank her up and see if she's gonna work. Let's go, Batman. I'm gonna shoot. I just wanna see where this color is gonna go, so I'm gonna shoot this fluorescent and see if like it gets on the filter. Let's see if this thing actually works. Done. Who wants one? I mean, it's going over here, and like I have overspray that's shooting out, but it is going on the filter. So, like, I guess that's good. I'll really know later if I'm like blowing pink out of my nose. And it is quite pink on the filter, so I feel like that is working. You know? I have a lot on my beautifully painted white area, but that's what it's for. It's a spray booth. There, I also got a little I want a spray gun, spray thingy. I care about the brush right now, I care about the boot. And the boot seems to be working. Like, it's very pink, but obviously I'm shooting this way. I guess I want like the airborne stuff, like as it sprays back up to get caught. That's it, that's a wrap. I'd say she works. So that's it for this one. She's finally, it's done. Pretty sweet little setup where we can uh, airbrush some lures now. Definite overspray but that's what it's for, you know? So it looks pretty sweet. Seems to be working. Not too shabby, I'm pretty pleased with that. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully on the next one we'll have some lures to paint up soon, you know?